one final benefit. You make a bigger impact. You make a bigger impact. When you become a good steward and you're rewarded with more opportunities and you have a covering, you are also required to be a better steward of the more that he's entrusted. And what that does is it opens a door for you to be a person that makes an impact in the world. And part of what our company stands for, as you guys know, and sending hundreds of thousands of meals, being a part of all these mission projects, is that it's not just about the money. God gives us the money so that we can ultimately become better stewards of making an impact. And that's why we want to influence and feed nations. So the key here, guys, and I want to really challenge you is to really think bigger than you. Think generations to come. What kind of impact you could have if you are a person that has led by example and so what I want to do is, is just give you this picture here. Where does your impact begin? It begins with your family. It begins with your workplace. And ultimately, it'll impact the world. There's an older gentleman that used to tell me this story, and, and it was so perfect. And he obviously is in his late 70s now. But he used to tell me this, and I'll never forget it, just the way he would joke about it. But he would say, Rick, so he had a little southern accent. He'd say, when I was, when I was younger, <laughs> that's how he talks. He said, um. I set out that I want to change the world. He said, so I started really working on all these big groups and went out there and I realized that 15 years of trying, changing the world's impossible. <laughs> so then I decided, well, maybe I could change my state. So he said, I spent another 15 years of my career working with my state, trying to figure out how do we change our state. And then I realized it's impossible. So now I'm getting a little older. I don't have as much strength. And he said, so I made a decision. That decision is that I'm going to change my home. So unfortunately, my my home, all my kids are grown. Can't change them. So then I realized, why don't I change myself? And he says, and in changing myself, I realized that if when I started, I changed myself, I could have changed my family. If my family would have been changed, we could have changed our city. If our city would have been changed, we could have changed, changed our United States of America. And together, we could have changed the world. And so the point is this, guys. A lot of times that influence, that impact, it starts here. And it ripples down to your children and your family and it ripples down into other people around you. And so that's one of the benefits of being a good steward is that as you start getting those blessings, as you start growing, as you start expanding, people are watching. And that become, becomes a seed that you're planting in the hearts of other people that begin to grow so that long after you're gone, that legacy lives on. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. So remember, legacy isn't what you leave behind. It's what you leave in others. That's a legacy. What you leave behind is your inheritance. Remember that. It's a big lesson I learned. And so here's a power question that I want to really challenge you by is, can you imagine what would happen to your children's children if your impact ripples to future generations? And so what I want to finish this today with as a benefit, if you apply these principles and you're a good steward, think about the generations after you, what an impact you would have on their lives by being faithful today. Just think about that for just a moment, how powerful that is, because we have a choice. We can choose to live our lives for ourselves or we can choose to live a life that leads an example so that literally generations to come will reference the moment where my great grandfather, Rick, he changed the legacy of our entire family. You see, before my great granddaddy, Rick, this is what our family used to be. But my great great granddaddy, Rick, paid the price. He led an example. He taught his children and they taught us. You follow? And now here we have is a legacy. We have all these opportunities. We have all of these fancy things. Why? Because one guy decided it's enough with me. I will be the trendsetter. And so I want to challenge you to be that person. I don't care if you come from wealth or you come from poverty. What's amazing is you have the opportunity to be a good steward and pass that on to the next generation. And I believe that that is a benefit to you because there's nothing more rewarding than seeing the lives of people get changed because of your life. And so with that, I'm going to finish it today. So I'll open it up now for any questions, any comments, questions.